Hi, it's Kathy here. I have got myself a nice new little gadget to be able to show the cards from an overhead angle. So I'm starting today with uh, a three card poll. So the, I'm asking the question for whoever resonates with this, where am I letting fear get in my way? And so you can choose either card one, two or three just intuitively tune into that or you might find messages in more than one card so just take whatever resonates with you uh, and let me know in the comments if it resonates so card number one and there's a bit of a delay so just bear with me with the technology so card number one here is the king of cups so the king of cups he is someone who is a master of his own emotions he's someone who's been through the mill he's lived a long life he's had a lot of life experiences and he's navigated all the ups and downs of the um, emotional realms and he's realized that you don't need to sweat the small stuff so you can see him there surrounded by the sea and the sea's quite tumultuous and you know the waves are quite strong it's not a calm flat scene but he's there on his rock on his throne and so that kind of stands for him being solid within himself uh water and also you can see this little there's a little fish popping out of the water um that often represents something that's coming from the unconscious uh, so something that is rising up out of the um, maybe the 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 tumultuous emotional world will come some uh, kind of inner awareness, something from your unconscious mind is going to come to awareness. So just be watchful of that. Um, but trust yourself because he knows what to do. He's been through this so many times. He's got the inner strength and he knows how to sort of... Um, Feel the feelings, let them move through him, watch and observe how he responds and reacts. And he knows not to get attached to um, these currents and flows that are passing through his life. So if you're feeling fear in your life about moving forward in some way, then his advice would be to feel the fear, notice it. Maybe you can look into the past and notice where you've experienced something similar and um, and how did you navigate that to get through it? Um, but essentially it's trying to say to trust yourself that you've got this and that the the waves of that are happening in life maybe at the moment that are causing the fear or that you're responding to, if you can find a way maybe to uh, go inward, find some way to calm yourself, to withdraw from uh, the the scene of what's causing all of the ups and downs or the fears or, you know, if it's causing anxiety within you. Do um, maybe do yoga or uh, get out into the garden in nature or do something that calms you and brings you back to yourself because you've got the answers inside you, you have that wisdom and fear is just fear it's just something in the mind so you'll be able to move through it so that's the king of cups if you chose the second card this is the the seven of swords so the seven of swords shows this man who is looking back over his shoulder at some kind of a camp in the desert and he's carrying five swords and he's left two in the ground and the, the kind of story around this card is that he is running away in some kind of deception or some kind of betrayal uh he's maybe stealing and he's seeing what he can get away with so there's that feeling of deception um so if that has any kind of resonance with you about what your fear is that you're moving through it could be something that you're going through maybe you're deceiving yourself maybe you're deceiving someone else maybe you're trying to just be really strategic about getting out of something and taking what you can 
But if there is any anything that is not above board, the message of this card is to come clean with it, to trust that honesty is the best policy and whatever you learn from this, even if it feels really embarrassing or you um, like have to eat humble pie or, you know, if you, if you have to face something that you feel really ashamed about that you've, you've done that you, you didn't really, that you don't like about yourself, then come, come clean, own up and learn from it. And you'll move through that and be able to take that into the future. But it's the, often the fear of doing that in the first place once you've kind of met that fear then the rest will go really smoothly it can also have a a different meaning which is about going it alone and obviously that you know if you're breaking out into something a new pathway a new journey in your business or life or relationships or something then that can be really scary so the kind of guidance from this card then is to be strategic work out what you need what do you need to take with you what do you need to leave behind and you know go through this in quite a logical process um and that will really help you don't let the emotions of fear get in the way of you just making a plan so card number three Card number three is the Eight of Wands, and that shows eight staves flying, flying through the air, and each one of them has like new shoots coming out of it. And in the background, the sky is really clear, and you can see this landscape with uh, hills in the background and and water. So the meaning of this card is of fast moving energy. Something is approaching really quickly. It's going to land soon. And it's maybe going to bring something new, something uh, that's going to grow, something positive, something with potential is coming. And there's nothing in the way of it. There's no, like often you get cards with lots of clouds in in the background, which suggests like mental cloudiness or, you know, but this is clear thinking. Something is coming without any kind of inner mental blocks to receiving it but you just need to be patient. So in terms of fear, this card could be saying that things are definitely on their way. So don't get stressed and impatient. You need to have some patience because it's nearly, it's going to arrive soon, whatever it is that you're waiting for. And Another side could be like when when things are moving really quickly, when we actually get into the flow of life, when we've taken some risks and we've, if you think about life being like a, a river and if you're holding onto the side or you're caught up in the edges of the bank where there might be roots or trees that you can hold on to because you don't want to let go, you're afraid to let go into the flow. If you did move into the flow, although it would be, it would be fast moving and it would take you where you wanted to get to, but that can be quite scary to actually let go of that control. So that's maybe the fear that you're experiencing or maybe the, the fear that something's not happening fast enough. So I'll let you see what resonates with you. So I hope one of those cards resonated with you if you're feeling some fear at the moment or maybe more than one did. So if it, if they did, just let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Yeah.